to hear that verdict packing into the courtroom, a very tense moment before the verdict was read. In just seconds, James Krausenek was taken away in handcuffs, and before that, Kathy Krausenek's sister, Annette, uh, speaking to the daughter, Sarah, who was three at the time, exchanging words with her for the first time in years. Seconds of hearing the verdict. We did it. We did it. Justice for Kathy. Kathy Krausenek's sister, Annette Schlosser, leaving the courtroom ecstatic. Their father, Robert, 95 years old, says he lived to see this day. After three weeks of reviewing physical evidence, hearing testimonies from neighbors, police investigators, and medical examiners, Assistant District Attorney Patrick Gallagher says no other conclusion could be reached. Just on the fact that, you know, we knew Kathy was killed in, in the early morning hours when she was sleeping, um, and, and when you take into account everything that comes with that, it, there was no one else that could have done this, done this crime. The defense team has been saying all along there's no new evidence in the case and not enough evidence, saying Kathy's time of death was too hard to pinpoint and any motive regarding tension in the marriage over James's unfinished Ph.D. was a reach. We believe that there was no justification for waiting 37 years for this indictment. We think the law is on our side, and uh, we're confident we're going to have a, a reversal. On the other side of the courtroom, a distraught Sarah Krausenek, Kathy and James's daughter, who was three at the time. The Schlossers say they haven't had any communication with her until today, only for a moment. I told her when I walked and you heard me, I said, Sarah, I love you no matter what happens. And she said, thank you. And now we pray that Sarah will come back to us and be part of us because she has no family now. She's she has brain, no... She's been brainwashed for 40 years. How, how horrible she must be right, feel right now. But let's give her some time and we'll be in touch with her. A lot of heavy emotions there. James Krausenek will be held no bail, no release per the statutory requirement. The judge also did mention that he, uh, he is uh, flight risk. Sentencing is set for November 7th, and of course, we will be following this closely. For now, in Rochester, Eric Hedekost, News 8.